Okay, today I wanted to show you guys, I got this new, um, little teeny, look at the tiny, little tiny, <laughs> little harness. It's Gooby brand. And I walk a little tiny chihuahua who also uses a Gooby harness, but it's a different kind of goes over the head and all this. And he just slips right out of it. And I have other little dogs that slip out of their harnesses as well. So I went online and I did some research to see what people like. And this one had some pretty good ratings because what it does is the dog's legs. <clears throat> Let's see if I can show you. Kind of hard. <laughs> the dog's legs go through here and then head through here and then it clips together over the dog like this and then these two things are where you attach the leash and then as the dog is walking and pulls the idea is that these two things pull and then tighten this piece here and also bring all of this up more close to the body. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know uh, what I find. I found that there's two, excuse me, four adjustable places, I believe, on the harness. This fits the small one, fits from a 13 inch to an 18 inch up and looks like you can adjust it here and here and then obviously on the other side here and here these disappointingly are just plastic so granted you're only pulling a tiny dog but tiny dogs can be beefy and you're going to want to keep an eye on those, make sure that they hold up, um, that they don't wear down, that they don't crack. Um, it doesn't look like there's anywhere that you could swap them out for metal ones. But the this looks to be just a simple neoprene. Um, it's pretty squishy. Uh, it looks pretty comfortable. And since their legs come through here, I don't think that they'll have any um, trouble like with rubbing or anything else. Um, I do like that it snugs the whole body instead of just pulls on the chest neck area, which can cause um, damage to the trachea on some dogs. So that's actually something to think about. If you have a dog that pulls, um, look for a harness that pulls from the back rather than from the neck area because I've had a dog who died from that so you don't want to collapse trachea <laughs> especially beagles kind of tend to have that um so kind of give them a chance but anyway um that's that and i'll let you guys know how it goes thanks